What's up guys, I wanted to share an app that I've been using for a while now and the functionality is actually more advanced than I thought and it's to do with clipping video, so any type of video. So you're recording a video on your phone, you recorded a gameplay video with uh, Nvidia Share or Relive, anything like that and you just want to clip a little segment of it, um, particularly for gameplay, it's probably the most handy, but you just want to clip a little segment but opening up your video editing tools just feels daunting and tedious because you know that you know you've got to do all the fancy you know cutting of each segment and it takes a long time like every single step adding animations adding transitions or even if you don't want to add transitions you just want to cut it and render it the rendering part sometimes doesn't feel worth the effort for a short clip and I wanted to share this tool because it is so fast and so convenient and it it can do more than just clip one segment it can actually splice video together which I only figured out after I dug into the program more. I'm like, I just want to clip something, but I want to show what happened just before this thing. And I want, so I want two separate parts of the video, but they're at different timestamps. I don't want to like, so I don't want like five minutes to 10 minutes. I want five minutes to six minutes and six minutes uh, and nine minutes to 10 minutes. So two one minute segments. And I want to put them together, but doing that would, would mean loading it into Vegas or Movie Maker and, you know, doing the whole editing thing and it takes too long. And it's like for that clip, oh, it's not even worth it. So that's the reason I wanted to share this is because I know I'm not the only one that has felt this way. And as well, like I've been editing and doing gameplay videos for years, right? And I use Windows Movie Maker sometimes instead of the advanced tools because it's a bit more user friendly and intuitive when you just want to do something simple, like you want to add transitions. And this is even more simple than Movie Maker. So in terms of speed, it's like 50 times. Oh, it's even like for a, say for a five minute video, it is probably a hundred to a thousand times faster. Like that is literally because it doesn't re render it. It lets you work with the native video, like whatever it is, uh, the raw file, and cut it together without having to re render anything. And that's what's amazing. It doesn't make it as a project. And you might have heard of this app before, but anyway, I'm going to explain it and show it to you right now. It's called AvidMux. And when I first used AvidMux, I did share it on my channel, but I only shared the base functionality. I didn't actually know how the tool worked uh, properly until recently when I dug into it a little deeper because I'm like, I've actually been wanting to cut ultra wide clips and a lot of the pro free programs don't do it very well. Um, they have project settings. You've got to set the, uh, the aspect ratio and the, the rendering is the most annoying part because sometimes you don't want to add many effects. You just want to clip something together and cut different segments and you don't care about effects you just want to splice it so that you can tell a story but just do quick cuts you know quick cuts without the transitioning effects and all that so anyway i'm going to do it live on thing with the game running in the background i've got tarkov running in the menu just to show how powerful this little tool is and how how unintensive it is like how how easy it is to run and how quickly it can do something like make uh, cut a clip so I've got a few videos here. These are recorded in Radeon Relive at 70 Mbps or 69 Mbps. And you can see I've got this shoreline clip. It's 6.39 gigabytes. And it was recorded in 1440p. So I'll just show you the details here. And what AvidMux lets you do is clip videos, um, clip a segment out of a video without re-rendering anything. It'll just clip it and save it as a new file. So it's like more like copying part of the video rather than importing it adjusting it or doing any kind of modification it doesn't do any of that stuff it just gets the raw quality and it's basically lossless because it's not it's not rendering it down or up so anyway i'll just open it up now with avid Max, and this is like literally how it works it's free um it's how it works out of the box so or out of the download and so after installing it you'll see this menu here and you can see it's got video output copy audio output copy and just leave them as they are you can change your container format so i want mp4 uh, for uploading to YouTube. So I put on MP4. And let's just say I want to clip one part of this video that I'm walking on the roof for whatever reason, like any type of gameplay. Or this bit here, where I walk into the toilet and I'm like, what on earth, what country has toilets like that? Um, and I might just want to show it to someone, like in a Facebook group or whatever. So you do your normal start and end points. Okay endpoint so it's just like literally a few seconds and save and I'll save this as example so you'll see a new file pop up in this folder I've got open called example and watch how fast it'll flip it done uh, I am using an NVMe 
but it's the same with SSDs and I don't see why it wouldn't work basically the same speed with the hard drive too. Might have a little bit of a loading symbol, but it's because it's not re-rendering it, that's why it's fast. So as you can see, I've just clipped it and that's it. I can upload that script to you know a group or something like that, a share it to a friend. Uh, I wanted to like, what is with that toilet design? Is this a Russian thing? Uh, I don't know what country the shoreline map is based on if you've played the skate from Tarkov, but that, that toilet looks really weird. Um, anyway, so that, that's basically how it works, but then there's an additional functionality where you might want to clip different segments of a, vi of a video, a longer video, but you don't want the whole video. You just want like a minute here, a minute there, and a minute in another spot. And basically you do exactly what I did, but you create multiple clips and save them separately. So it's a little bit clunky in how it works, but in terms of speed and ease of use, just watch this. So let's just pretend I've already clipped four clips out of this one video. And you can see the file sizes down here, 64 MB, 32 MB, 44 MB, and 29.5 MB, so like ignore the decimals. And all you gotta do is right click the first video. I recommend to number them whenever you do do this after installing the app, open with AvidMux. And then the feature, like I didn't know about it because it's not straightforward, but it is fairly intuitive once you know how it works. Instead of re-rendering or creating a project, it appends, it can append and attach videos on top of each, like next to each other. So you're basically cutting and clipping. So with all those individual saves that I made, that I clipped out of the video, just save them in the same folder, number them, and then go to file, append, and watch how fast this is. So I've started with number one. I'm gonna append number two, control A is the shortcut, append number three, and append number four. And then save, and it'll come up, you know, might be called, you know, one underscore edit, just as an example. So you've appended them all, and then save. And it will say cut points could not be checked because it is a cut cut up video, and it's like, it's basically a tiny warning, but it works perfectly fine as long as the source is the same. Like you, you're not clipping completely different sources. So if it's all recorded with the same software or the same app, as long as you didn't vary the settings too much, it should work fine and you know change the resolution, just keep it the same. So anyway, try anyway, click yes, and it's done. That's how fast and powerful this program is, or convenient, all of the above. So one edit is the new file, 171 MB, and look at this. You can, you can see there's no transition effects, but it's, it's basically what a lot of people might want. Um, including myself, just when you want a quick clip to tell a story or show something, but you don't want to go through an editing tool and re-render anything. So this was a scab killer right what? here. But anyway, um, I was just editing this and I was thinking, I know there's people that don't know how to do this really easily, and so that's that's it. Uh, download AvidMux, uh, right-click your video, open it with AvidMux, you know, save a few clips from your segment, or if you just want to clip one simple thing, if you've never used AvidMux before, you just want one section of a video, it's just like that, and save it. That's how quick it is. And so like, I'll just do it an example for a longer segment so you can see how long it might take if you're clipping like right in the middle of a video from five to, we'll make it five to 12 minutes. So if you're clipping a little bit longer, but you know, you're chopping off the ends. Um, that's one. It does take a little bit longer when it is a longer segment that it's it's like having to grab it from right in the center of the file. But you can see compared to like rendering and doing it through Vegas, which would take way longer for this type of work, um, you can see how fast it's going. And this is with the Ryzen 5 3600, but on my older i7 6th gen system, it was roughly the same speed, if not a little bit faster at times. Um, I don't know if they've got optimization for Ryzen or Intel, or if it's just the way the program works. It does say encoding, but it's not really re-rendering and adding post-processing type of effects or anything like that, or changing the bitrate. It's just using the raw data. Um, video output and audio output are both just copied. So that's almost done. But for quick clips, it's way fast. Like as you saw when I first did that, um, separately for like a few 30 seconds to a minute segments it'll be done in like a fraction of the time it would take a professional premium app that you'd have to pay for so just wait for this for a bit 
sometimes the saving part can take longer for longer clips, like, because that is like a 10 minute clip, or 5, what, 5 to 12, 7 minute clip, 6 minutes. 6 minutes, 7 minutes. Just wait for it to finish, though. But, I mean, the, the other good thing is, because you can set the priority, um, having it on below normal means you can multitask. Like, I can actually go out of the, you know, go do something else, and it's not going to bog my system down. Like, I can actually play Tarkov while clipping something in the back. So that's saved. And if I go back into the folder, the test one, which is this uh, 7 minute, 30 second segment, is done. And you can see the quality is basically native, whatever I've recorded at. Um, I do have the uh, aspect ratio fixed if the video looks funny. It's a 1440p video, but I normally run ultra wide, so that's why the aspect ratio is a bit off when I first play something. But if you also go to the native, um, I'll just show you real quick here before I finish this video. Um, if I go to the native clip, which was Shoreline 1440, you can see the details. And then if I open test one and go to details, we can put them side by side. You can just have a look there. So 65, 66, and because it's variable bitrate, that's why it might change. It might fluctuate a little. I've actually had higher bit rates come up when I clip certain parts of real live recordings. But basically, this is the native settings, and yeah, it's indistinguishable. Uh, if I ran, I don't think I can. I don't know if it'll let me. No, I, I've got it set, so only let me have one instance. But if I ran them side by side, like I'm not going to spend a whole video explaining it. But if you run your clip side by side, you'll see that it's basically lossless. Um, there's no quality loss at all. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that just because I think it'll help some people out that have been wanting to get into clipping their gameplay or something and they just don't want to get overwhelmed with Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere or even Movie Maker might not be able to do exactly what they want or take a bit too long, this program is just way quicker. So yeah, I've already clipped that thing. That was actually something I was going to upload. But this is another example. Uh, I'll just do this really, really quick just to show you what it's like. Here. I might want from here to here. So I'll just, like, this is how you do it if you were doing it uh, on your own. So I'll save that as number one. And then I'm running, you know, in the warehouse. Just another part of the video. So when it's, when it's smaller, it's really, really quick. Uh, save that as number two. And then a bit further up. I'm still, maybe somewhere where I'm eating. Um, I think I was eating on this video. And you double tap, if, if you try to like move forward and you want to create a new clip, if it's like not letting you because you've got like a segment highlighted already, double tap this A, double tap it and it'll move it up. So when you double tap it, it'll skip, it'll skip the starting point ahead. And so now I'm eating, you know, double tap that. And then, you know, that's another clip. Save it as three. And you can do it as many as you want. It just depends what you're doing, you know. And then I'm looking to talking to that dude. Yeah. Whatever. And number four. We'll just do it with four pieces, but you can do it with as many as you want. And then open number one, which is the starting point of your video. Control A to append or go to file file append. Control A is way easier. And then start with from number one, you go to number two. So two, three, four, and save. And yes, done. So that was just a second example because I had those other uh, clips pre-prepared. I wanted to show, you know, doing it live. Um, so that's clip. So you, can, you can watch the clip happen. Um, so yeah, we, we don't get the fancy effects, but it's not a big deal if you just want to show something. also see the quality of the the clipping you know because it didn't have to re-render it save all my ultra light yeah so anyway guys i hope that helps you out and um thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content see ya